Hello. Chris and I is going to do a rain camp out tonight, but we're going to use the hammocks because all that ground sleeping, <laughs> my back feels it in the morning, but with a hammock, I get a really nice night's sleep. So, what I've got here is the One Tigress Bulwark Rain Fly. Now this is a camping tarp. You can set this up in many configurations, which I will be providing a video of some different ones. But today, I'm going to be using this with my hammock. 10 by 13. That is a huge tarp. And I use a lot of 10 by 12. And I usually put those on a diagonal just because it gives me maximum coverage. This one here, 13 feet long, I should be able to just put it across and use the pop tent style of a tarp hang for this one here. It's going to pour rain at any time, so I want to be able to test the waterproofness of this tarp as well. And this is a great night to do so. The waterproof rating for this material it's a coated ripstop nylon, and the waterproof rating is PU 3000 millimeter. So get to test that tonight, and as always, the stitching and quality top notch. I'm gonna open this up and show you what's in here. In here, you have guidelines. And also you have six tent pegs. Oops. <laughs> right there. Aluminum. Plus your guidelines there. So you have that in there. And this here is your tarp. multiple tie-out points and you can see the stitching like I said top quality as usual I'm gonna quickly set this up because like I said the rain could start at any moment I've got assorted pieces of bank line in my cordage bag that just gonna tie this around the tree and then tie to the tie out. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. I'm gonna adjust this where I want it. And now I'll just tie it through this tie out. You can see this has multiple tie outs on this. Very nice. But what I'm going to do is just tie out the four corners. So this is like a pup tent. And then I can hang my hammock. They also provide a rather long guideline, which is nice if you need it. Here it's uh, way more than I need. But it's better to have more and not need it than have less and need it. <laughs> so now all I've got to do is take out the bottom portion, the two sides, and then I can hang my hammock. So the tarp's all staked down now. And I did notice after I put up the ridge line. It's the first time, like I mentioned, I just got it in the mail today. But I noticed there are tabs here that you could run your ridge line through to hold up the tarp. I'm so used to putting it in underneath and then <laughs> setting my tarp over top. But really cool feature there as well. And that will make 
it a very nice accessory when you want to pull out the back of a shelter, a tarp shelter that you may create. So having those tie outs there are also a very good addition. I also decided to use a small piece of bank line I had on the other side and a piece of paracord I had just to put out the middle just to keep it more taut. It is rather windy tonight. So that's just going to help take off some pressure on the ends. With this hammock here I have a good 18 inches or so coverage from my start of where my buckle goes through because if it gets wet rain will run down your strap hit that buckle and then follow through and go down that strap so you want coverage that it does not get to your hammock this here is covering very well I have very good coverage with that hammock there but that also has a set ridge line that's fastened to the hammock makes it a little shorter so if you have a 10 foot hammock this is 13 feet if you have that stretched straight out each one's going to be different but this one here is going to give you a lot of cover so the sun has just set and it's dark enough that we need lights now Chris is all set up I'm set up and as you hear hmm <laughs> the rain has came now it just started right before we've got uh, Chris was all set up but we was able to stay dry and get everything all put into place but now we're all good and we shall see how this fares overnight like I said I'll keep you updated and so on but I've been looking forward to a hammock camp because I sleep so well in a hammock this one here is the one wind hammock and I have done a review on this and I'm really loving this hammock <laughs> love that sound it's raining out there pretty hard right now and it's totally dry in here so it's holding up very nice right now but listen to that it's actually not even 6 p.m. right now and I could go to sleep listening to that. I also like that the guy lines are reflective. So with the headlamp on you don't actually trip over them. So it's very nice and cozy in here right now. It's really pouring out there now. But the tarp, even the seams up there working very nice very nice it's pretty wet out there so the rain's pretty much stopped there now and not sure if it's going to rain anymore. They did call for showers. But. Yeah. This uh, tarp worked very well. I'm nice and dry. So. I can see me using this quite a bit. I'm going to leave a link down below. Where you can check it out. Just check out the specs. And so on and so forth. But. Very happy with it thus far. For sure. It's still just dripping once in a while underneath the trees, so <laughs> nice sound. I had a very nice sleep last night. <laughs> Tarp worked very well it down to around 5 celsius so just above freezing but 
nice and toasty and dry. That's the way it should be. So last night was a dry night and a comfortable night. It got down to right around 5 Celsius, maybe a little cooler, not quite sure, but when I checked it was 5 Celsius. The tarp, the bulwark tarp, worked great. Underneath, it's still dry, and I've seen a lot just from the dew in the air be wet inside. This one here, pretty good. It's uh, still dry inside, and as you see, <laughs> It's still rather wet on the outside. So it was a very nice camp out. We both slept well. And uh, I just wanted to bring you along and show you how this worked. Time to pack up here a little bit after you know we get around and so on. So I want to thank you for watching. Take care. All the best.